And yes, operatives of the Joint Task Force inside Oshun State, they don't pursue suspected internet wuru-wuru fraudsters and wait can lead to one car crash. We can still kill one person, Shapali. And according to eyewitness, the JTF men then pursued the car from Oshun Mall area for Laya inside the state capital, Oshobo, down to East Bypass, where the accident been Shelley. Eyewitness, the answer the suspected the fraudsters, the moto, he wrong, come up from road when JTF be over take the moto and he comes some assault enter nearby gutter he crash enter nearby standing electricity pole and even self eyewitness then still the yarn say the officers then run take off after the accident after then shoot anyhow to escape and say make angry mob so made no color be the same the incident badness afterwards it can lead to traffic uh, for major junctions for the capital city and protests uh, from uh, angry youth JTV people are just wasting life, and we don't know why. After pursuing a vehicle, the next thing is just to leave them. Now, life has lost now. And what is their gain? People have gathered here, and they said they want uh, peace in the state. Is it the way that we want peace in the state? By pursuing somebody, you don't know what is happening, you don't know the work, and you say it's Yahoo boy. And the next thing is to waste their life. My, my, my advice for the IGP is to feed these people out. Is to feed them out and say they should be brought to book. It, it's too many. They should be brought to book. And this is what happened in Ogun State, where these people were wiped out. No more sense in Ogun State. The, pertaining to this, the IG must come to Oshu State and take the action. What police did was unfair. After chasing these boys, they could have retreated. Now they ran away after causing the havoc. Out of four of them in the vehicle, one died and the remaining three were severely injured.